Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday. We are out on the property. We are getting some work done. That's right, we are still working. We are still kicking that booty. The guys are on the way out here. They are all, um, they're all car, they're, they are all carpooling, kind of starting this week. Um, just with all this stuff going on, some guys are getting pulled over um, last couple days. Local um, law enforcement has been pulling people over, asking them where they're going, things like that. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to get used to that stuff, but either way, um, they're just kind of just making it easier on themselves and they're all going to be carpooling with one another. Um, so we're actually not going to be mowing today. The property looks really good. Um, you know, the, it hasn't grown much since last week. It's got a little bit of growth, but I think we're going to leave that alone and we're just going to work on detailing some stuff instead of mowing everything um it just it just looks really nice so i do want to show you guys something i'm so excited we got the punisher up and running you guys know that i love this thing um i mean next to you know of course you got trucks and trailers and mowers and blowers but like as far as that key piece of equipment investing into being something that gives you a lot of return our dump truck is just one of the most valuable things that we have without like doing large commercial properties without a dump truck is um, something I just cannot imagine, to be honest with you. Like it's just, it's something that I would say you need a, a nice size dump trailer or you need a dump truck um, and the job, everything's just so much easier, so much better. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what's happening. As you know, we got a new piston put on here. So the whole, you know, the whole dump assembly um, underneath there is brand new. Um, we do have the racks put on here. Um, this is the, no, this is not for a cone. I just shoved a cone in there. Um, actually I need to take that, uh, let me take that out. Let me put this over here. So I got a really neat idea that's going to replace cones by the way. So hopefully we see that by the end of the year. So anyways, I got the, the V3, um, fuel cage out here. Um, and the guys have all the fuel cans in the trailer. Sure can actually sent me some more cans. Um, they went to an old address, so I have to go get them. Um, yeah, it turns out a landscaper moved in that old address, so hopefully I can get them from him. So we got the 535 LST here. I'm gonna put a set of head trimmers right there. This is kind of like the cleanup um, system. When we go do um, you know landscape jobs or whatever, I'll always want a really mean weed eater um, and a set of head trimmers just in case. I am going to rig up a blower rack underneath there. I will show you guys that later. Hopefully it'll be um, ready in time for the 2020 lawn care setup video that we're just waiting on some racks to do. If you guys haven't seen this, this is just awesome. I'm gonna swap these out for the green ones. So we have these uh, Pulsol uh, mounts. That's, they're specifically made for Pulsol mounts, even though you can use these things for everything. So what I'll usually do is just leave this on here and I can just fire this uh, Pulsol up while it's sitting in the rack, which is pretty cool. And I just pull it right off. Um, so of course we have, you know, lots of rakes and everything's in here. I lost a couple of rakes last week. Um, so let me show you guys what is happening here. So this is the, this thing has not been running the greatest since we um, have owned this thing. It really hasn't, it's, it's always run, um, but we've always had like the fuel lines would always break. You guys know about that. My brother finally rigged something up, a, a bracket right there. So those will no longer break. This thing would always leave us broke down because the fuel lines would break. Um, it's, it started smoking a long time ago. Um, the manifold was cracked. The turbo was leaking oil, um, and of course that stuff's just expensive, but you know, the truck still ran, so I kind of just put that on the back burner. Um, but it just finally got to a point to where it just was not running that great anymore, and I wanted to, um, I just wanted to fix things up. So I ended up getting an aftermarket turbo, and I got a brand new exhaust manifold. So we got the exhaust manifold installed and the turbo installed. It took, uh, it took about five days to get the turbo from California. Um, and it is by CF Diesel. I did look up that, you know, they got some good reviews on it. Um, of course we recycled the heat shield um, and, you know, recycled all the hoses and everything. I did take out the air, com the uh, AC compressor because it doesn't work. We just cut the lines on it. Um, it there was no pressure, so. Eventually, I'm going to end up replacing hoses and getting the air conditioning system fixed in here um, because we are in Florida, for God's sake. 
but the most awesome part is this thing runs better than it has run since we bought this truck. So this new turbo and the new exhaust manifold, if you guys watched Instagram, the exhaust manifold was cracked right there, there, and there. And then whenever we took the, whenever we took the turbo off um, right here, it was cracked um, where it mounts to the top of the exhaust manifold. Inside of the turbo, inside of the turbo area was cracked as well. Um, so that would probably explain why it was a little sluggish, why it, why it uh, idled really rough, and um, why it smoked a lot. So no leaks, no nothing. There's like not a leak on this truck anywhere. That's the only place where it would leak um, was coming around the entire turbo housing itself. It leaked coming out of here everywhere. So, you know, whatever. Because when I originally called, it was $1,800 just for the turbo, an OEM one. And as a me you know, mechanical background, I'll tell you that a lot of times the OEM parts, um, you have a lot more success with a aftermarket part than you do an OEM part. Sometimes, not all the time, um, but on a turbo, I don't mind doing an aftermarket part. It's got a really good warranty on it, three-year warranty, uh, one year is unlimited. So that was pretty great to see that. I've never seen a warranty like that on a turbo before. Um, so that is awesome. It runs killer. I'm excited because I love this truck. I love driving this truck. I love everything about this truck. This is like, you know, one of my favorite toys ever is this dump truck. So the only thing is I wish that it were a four door, you know what I mean? I really wish it were a four door, but that's okay. Um, you know, eventually what I want to do, and Leah, you know, like smacked her forehead when I said this, is eventually I want four door Suzu landscape trucks instead of trucks and trailers. That's going to be a while before we do that because that's a lot, that's a lot of stuff to switch out. But anyways, we got the Punisher up and running, and I'm stoked and I'm excited. Um, check the air filters good. Got a new gas tank cap because the guys always lose that. The only thing left is somehow the freaking hydraulic. I want to put a big dahlia flower up here still. I haven't done that. But the hydraulic um, cap came off, and I don't know how on earth that thing popped off. So I got like some saran wrap and a zip tie there for right now. You know what I'm saying? Got to rig it up. You got to rig it up. But anyways, like I said, I'm going to end up putting a blower mount underneath there. And that way I can just kind of walk up, you know, waist high, unlock a blower rack. Um, I already tried putting a blower rack on here, but it just stuck out way too far. Because you guys can see, you can see right now we come out about a foot. Um, and the blower rack comes out just a little farther than that with the blower because it's not the rack the green touch rack is flat but the blower itself is just a little too big um i've thought about maybe mounting it on the inside here but um, um i think it'll pretty much i think it'll hit that if i do that so i'm thinking about doing under you know you see like the toolboxes and things underneath the rails and the frames while they're mounted so i'm going to see if i can rig up a green touch rack um underside carriage mount there so that is that this thing is up and running and i'm happy 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 anyways guys i just wanted to give you an update on the dump truck when the guys get here we're going to go through and spray this place out there's some weeds popping up everywhere we'll probably hand pick anything that's big any weed that's over a couple inches we're going to uh you know hand pull them we do have some things growing up out of the hedges over here i want to pick up um, i want to pull out we're just going to spend the day detailing everything um, and then we'll be good to go. I may end up spot mowing a few places. Um, I'm not sure, but it's just, uh, the grass hasn't really grown and it looks really good. So just kind of may leave that there. Um, may just leave that alone. But, um, yeah, as soon as I get all the racks in, we'll do a 2020 setup. I'll just use one trailer. We're not going to do both trailers. Um, so I'll just kind of rig up. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm getting all new stuff for one trailer. So we'll uh, do the trailer with the Toyota on it, the new bed rail system that comes in black now from Green Touch, which is awesome. We'll do the dump truck, the debris loader, um, and we'll just do all the mowers, you know what I mean? So yeah, I love those kind of setup videos, man. There's a bunch of them out. Jason's got a good one up, Randy's got a good one out. There's a, there's a bunch of Richie, I think Richie's put his out. There's a bunch of good videos out So uh, with trailer setups. So check them all out because it's cool to see how everybody does their trailer videos. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep this one short. I just wanted to update you guys on the Punisher. Um, and yeah, it's up and running y'all. And uh, we're gonna go do some detail stuff and, and that's it. All right, peace out.